Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Item Yoba actor Ruti Misalami in a live Instagram interview with Mr. Poch confessed that the Yoba actress Orwell is everything to him and that he loves her so much. In his words, Orwell is my everything, I love her so much. She's someone I can say she always got my back in the Yoba movie sector. The first Yoba movie I produced, she wrote the script, coordinated the shoot and also directed it. Other major opportunities I got afterwards also came from her. She always put me in front of any movie producer or director. She always stands in for me, assuring them that I will deliver and thank God I don't disappoint. As for dating rumors, I will always tell people to believe what they want. It doesn't matter as long as I'm happy and there is peace in my home. Honestly, I really don't care. When asked about his opinion on dating older women, wrote to me asserted that if he wasn't married, maybe yes. He would have settled for an older lady because younger girls are carried away by a lot of things while older ladies are very mature as they have seen a lot in life. There are some younger ladies who are more mature than their age. At the moment, his wife treats him like a baby and his mother as well. So he would have loved to date an older lady if he was not married. However, he can't marry a woman older than him. It's just for dating sake and nothing serious. So Rusim is actually happily married and this is to settle all the rumors spreading that he's in a relationship or dating over Ademola, an older colleague. It is a platonic love, a brother and sister love. Rusim is happily married to his wife Jumoke, who is also a Thespian, and they celebrated their fifth wedding anniversary in June 2020 this year. And to mark their special day, Rosemary shared a video in which he was in the car singing with his spouse by his side. He then calls her beautiful and that his money is really showing on her. They both laughed and enjoyed every moment of their time together. Meanwhile, in other news, Rosemary disclosed that his decision to love and trust people is as a result of his upbringing. This actor credited his mother for this and revealed that it is not his fault that he loves and trusts so much. His upbringing taught him that. Kudos to his mother. On how he copes with female admirers who may not know that he's married and still intimately approaching, Rutimi has a lot of female fans and admirers, and they are the best thing that could have ever happened to his entire career. He can categorically say that he has over 70% of female fans and he gets good and great support from them all. So if a female admirer jumps on him, knowingly or knowingly, even with the fact that he's married, it is not a problem. The most important thing is that if they don't know, he lets them know about his marital status. Rutimi has actually experienced some embarrassing moments in his career. One of the most embarrassing moments was at the early stage of his career in 2008. It was an opportunity to feature in a movie and it was meant to play the role of a newscaster. It was on the set for four days just to play the role of a newscaster and it happened to be the last scene they intended to shoot. He already had his lines and was ready to roll. Camera sets and delivered his lines. So the director just thought to change one line from the entire lines he was broadcasting and immediately he changed it. Rotimi was thrown off balance. You know how it feels like when you have a particular line in your head and you change it, picking up almost immediately could throw you off balance. So it took him like take two, take three and the director of photography just screamed, see you, you're just fine for nothing. Act, you know Sabi act. He said he was really embarrassed. And that actually dropped his morale. He felt really humiliated. And he had to take him like 10 or 11 times before he could perfect that sin. On Rutimi's acting career experience, how did he all start for his career? Currently, thanks God for where he is. But the journey started very rough. But then his upbringing also helped him to survive longer years. He started his acting career mainly from his neighborhood in Ajanbadi, area of Lagos State. He started from Cobweb Audiovisual Productions owned by a friend then, Ola Razak. And he could remember that he had to pay him for registration. That was around 2005-2006. The production started. They went for rehearsals and they went for their very first shooting experience then at the town behind the river. That particular movie is not out because it was shot with a VHS camera. That's kind of camera that they shoot naming ceremonies with. After that time, they started rehearsing for Shanshisha Kingdom, which eventually came on air on NTA years after. Wotim Salami is one of the crossover actors that started their career in the English sector of Nollywood. However, he related the challenges he had to go through and the discrimination he faced being a Yoruba person a mainstream Nollywood. Then his very major breakthrough on TV that people saw him was on Super Stories Because You Loved Me, where he featured alongside Gabriel Afolayo, Vinay Naji, Jidea Ubono, and a host of others. After that time, he made several attempts trying to produce because he experienced discrimination a lot. Then they would be like, he's not Igbo, that is Yoruba. 
at some point he was almost going to change his name he was going to add raymond or something to his name just so that it could sound more english or close to Igbo. you know most people bear english names so when he heard the story of shegwa rizzi desmond helios and a host of others who had one or two english names not concubra names he wanted to add raymond to his name because jobs were not coming he kept going for different auditions for years and Rose was still not coming. But then he believed that because he was passionate about it, something was going to happen. At some point, he started making attempts to start producing movies. He made his first attempt to produce a series called J&J, &J, but unfortunately, he was only able to shoot two episodes of that series. Afterwards, nothing happened. His second attempt to produce was in 2010, which was Kuti's Career Palace. He got on TV in 2013 and got nominated for AMVC in 2014 as best comedy writer. Of course, there were still a lot of challenges along the line too. But then, glory be to God, he had his first directing job in 2009, Leave My Boyfriend, produced by Ike Chuku. And when he directed that movie, he was so eager. And when he was contacted on how much he would want to be paid for the job, he said he was not even really interested in how much to be paid, the money aspect. And you should just give him anything after directing the movie. The movie went on high TV back then. It went so viral. And he was so proud of himself. Afterwards, he produced and directed his own series, which, as mentioned earlier, was Kuti Career Palace. Also, before 2015, he got a call from Judy Aoudou to pick a character, Lati, in the movie Not Just Married, which was in the cinemas in 2016-2017, that same year. He got his very first award at the Best of Nollywood Awards as Most Promising Actor. He was nominated in two categories. First was most promising actor and also the most supportive actor. So he won the most promising actor, which was in December 2016. Then in 2017, with the movie Not Just Married for his character Lati, earlier in that same December 2016, he got a nomination. I saw his name. He was so happy, and lots of veterans called him that day. Oliwe said, wrote to me, I don't care if you don't win that award, you're already a winner for you to get a nomination. They also got called some different other people. Then that wrote to me, you have always been a good actor and you deserve this. Then he asked where these people were when he was going about years, struggling to get the room. None of them ever told him or gave him the opportunity to feature in their movies, but then it was a good step for him. Per adventure with the support of Judy Audi and the entire not just Maritain, his family, they all voted without relenting and yes, he got the award for best supporting actor with that same role at it. You're not just married. And right from that moment, the story has never remained the same again for Rutimi. Fast forward to today, that was one of the moments that made Rutimi salami. Also, Rutimi has a baby face. A lot of people are even shocked when they get to know that he's actually a married man with two lovely kids. Regarding his baby face, he said this was actually a major setback as well for his career. Even before 2017, it was not until after the award that he got that some major producers didn't really care so much anymore about his face and risked putting him on a couple of projects. He must confess that up until that very moment, his baby face denied him a lot of rules. However, there are still a lot of rules he still fit into, and one cannot have it all as a human being. For his craft, he knows that he's averagely good, and as for a cute face for the camera, he knows he has it. But unfortunately, there are certain rules that the cute baby face won't be able to earn him. So it was a major setback for this actor, Rotimi Salami. How has Rotimi been able to manage his family with his acting career? As mentioned earlier, he has been happily married and blessed with a lovely partner. Also, his wife is a thespian because she graduated from University of Lagos Creative Arts. So she understands his kind of job. Couple with the fact that he's not so much of an outgoing person. So if he's not working, it's at all. So any little time Rotimi he has is always with his family so he's actually blessed in that aspect on how roti me thinks natural movie productions can be improved upon because a lot of viewers seem to underscore their movie productions and still think they don't meet up to international standards he revealed that there are lots of challenges facing movie productions in Nigeria, but he believes that they can still do what can be done. Just like it has been done in Kenya and Tanzania, where they make only one or two movies in an entire year. And that's one or two movies they would have the government backing for such productions. Hollywood is really big, but with governmental support, they'll be able to do well. And individually, they need to start thinking that whenever they are making a film, they are making it for a lifetime and not just for one or two months, just to make ends meet. Then they will begin to do it very well. So it will mean that that if it is not appropriate, they won't do it. And if the storyline is not good, they won't do it. 
If things are not in place, they won't do it. So until they see filmmaking as something that is meant to last forever and not something of immediate gain, then they will begin to make very good movies. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it. At least on a two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.